Hello, Gemini. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of March 1st through the 7th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Keep in mind, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private reading by clicking the link to my website below. And also be sure to watch your rising sign and moon sign, which might resonate with you more for this particular week. And I am using the Shadowscapes Tarot deck for this week. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating for you. Okay, first card, Knight of Wands. Beautiful energy with that card. And the Knight of Cups. Next, the Major Arcana card, the Magician. Well, this is really getting exciting here, Gemini. Your overall energy for the week, the Four of Cups. Your Starseed Oracle card message is Earthed. And your crystal for the week, Bloodstone. Okay, Gemini. So at first glance, you have two knights. So there's a lot of movement and change going on. So some of you are definitely moving house this week. And you're manifesting for this to happen. And there's kind of an overall energy of that you're kind of keeping your emotions out of everything so that you can make this happen. Now I'm going to pull the cards closer as there is just so much detail on these cards. So let me just see how close I can get this. I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get, Gemini. So first, let's take a look at your anchor card for your reading this week. This is what you're gonna be focused on. And this is such a powerful Knight of Wands. Look at that energy. Now this particular Knight is bringing in the energy of change and progression. So you're making progress towards your goal. And that's what your focus is this week, Gemini. Now this is Sagittarius's card, but it very much looks like Leo's fiery energy. So this is a very confident energy coming in. Just kind of what I'm gonna say is an energy of just like busting in on a situation or a destination, but definitely indicating change in progress for you, Gemini. Now, the Knight of Wands here is a knight that is like very short term, comes in, does what he has to do. He's in it for the challenge, for the adventure, but he doesn't stay in one place very long. So the energy that I'm just picking up off this card is, this is the kind of energy that's a very take charge energy, bringing in progress to whatever it is you're focused on this week, Gemini. Now, this card is associated with your third chakra, so it's your will and determination. And boy, when this chakra is balanced, you feel like your actions do have an effect so that you now have control. So this card's all about control and progress and having change come in. And that is something that you want, Gemini. Very, very powerful energy with this card. Now, right after this card, you got another Knight's energy here, the Knight of Cups, which I feel is still bringing in change as all the Knights are about movement and change. And now this Knight of Cups has to do with something you love. So I feel that the changes in regards to either they're either in regards to someone or something that you just utterly love. And the Knight of Cups can bring about 
just an emotional intensity, Gemini, as you're making progress and moving towards this change. One in which I feel some of you are moving. You're moving from where you currently are living. And so this Knight of Cups is an energy of following your heart. This is Pisces energy, very intuitive, perceptive, romantic, and being adaptable. And this particular Knight of Cups in this deck is actually depicting like he's the Knight of the Round Table on a quest for the Grail. Look at this. If my camera would focus, there we go. Look at, this is the Holy Grail. So what is your grail, Gemini? What is it that you're trying to go after with so much movement? Could be a home. Could be with this being the cup's energy. This could be a particular individual. So this could be some kind of relationship. Could also be representing something creative that you just want to be doing. And with the Knight of Cups card, that's what I call a very positive yes card. You're moving towards whatever this is. You're going to obtain what is considered this Holy Grail for you, Gemini, with this Knight of Cups card. Very interesting Knight of Cups in this deck. And then the next card here is the Major Arcana card, the Magician. The major arcana cards are life events, big changes in your life. And with the magician card, this is using all your tools, all the elements that you have in front of you in order to manifest what it is that you want, Gemini. This is a very exciting energy, Gemini. And look, look at this. Your magician is facing and manifesting towards your two knights. So what your knights are bringing in this week is being manifested by your efforts through looking here at the Magician card. And another thing that's really interesting about this particular Magician card in this deck, look at the dark feathers, kind of like hidden under the white ones. And the same here with the headdress. There's white in the front and then the dark in the back. And what that's telling me is you're not doing anything that's underhanded, but you're using everything that you have and going to great lengths to get whatever this holy grail here is. So again, for some of you, it can be in regards to a relationship, a home, a business, a job offer. And also looking, because you probably can't see it there, right here. See, there's the lemniscate above the magician's head. This is like an in, it's like indestructibility, or in this case, an unstoppable energy that you're putting forth. So very exciting energy and cards this week here, Gemini. Now, let me shift your cards so that we can see your top row. And maybe... Bring it in a little, if it would stop moving. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna start with your overall energy card here, which is the Four of Cups. You can see that energy there. Now, a lot of times the Four of Cups energy can be a very stagnant energy, but with this being the Cups energy, and what I was picking up at first glance was you're leaving your emotions out of this so that you can do whatever it is you need to do to make whatever it is that you're wanting this, this Holy Grail to happen. So... It's really leaving your feelings and your emotions out of it so that you can logically and rationally think about all the possible strategies that you can put into place to make this happen. 
Now the Four of Cups card can often be a card where you just feel stuck, but I don't feel that's the case for you this week. This energy here is purposely keeping your emotions at bay so that you can accomplish what you need to do. And the number four energy of this card is about stability, being rational, being self-disciplined, Gemini. So I feel this overall energy carrying you through the week is a necessary energy in order for you to obtain whatever it is you're going after here, whatever your holy grail is. Now this week I pulled an uh, oracle card from the Starseed Oracle deck and you received Earth. And I feel it a bit unusual as another star sign got this exact same card. So if you have Cancer rising in your chart, you might want to check out that reading as well. But the message here, with this oracle card is to be fully present to what life on earth has to offer you. For some Geminis, it is indicating that people's personalities tend to relate to either transcendence or eminence. And those that lean towards transcendence have a longing for the heavens and the metaphysical. They long for the stars and the heavens. But then there will be Geminis who tend towards eminence and have attached themselves more to earth and their body, and they spend more time thinking about things in this material, physical world, I should say, not material world, we're talking more physically, rather than connecting with the heavens or their own inner worlds. So it's about finding balance between the two. Now, most star seeds are definitely drawn towards transcendence. And if that resonates with you, the message of this card is reminding you to focus more of your energies in the physical world to be fully present to what life on earth has to offer you. And now taking a look at your angels and guides have chosen the bloodstone crystal. And here we go. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the specks. They just don't show up on camera, but there is a bunch of red specks in there. Maybe you could kind of see. So that's my bloodstone crystal. So whatever this is, your holy grail, it's taking a lot out of you, Gemini as your angels and guides are suggesting bloodstone. It's a very strong sign for you that it's time for you to start to look after yourself, to try to ground and detox your physical body and your spiritual energy. So if you haven't been looking after yourself, Gemini, especially during whatever this is that you're dealing with, balance is needed at this time. So it's reminding you to eat in moderation, choose foods which nourish and ground you. Look at what you're drinking. Are you drinking enough water? Are you watching how much alcohol or wine or soda that you have? Focus on what you're actually breathing in. Are you smoking or do you have a lot of dust or chemicals or fumes around you, Gemini? Take note of that. I'm picking that up for some Geminis. Now, detoxing your body can take a little time, so it's important for you to just start taking, maybe just making some small changes this week. You don't have to do anything huge. Start by looking at one area of your life, such as maybe your food portions. Now, your angels and guides are indicating it's not only your physical body that you need to detoxify. It's also your spiritual body. And make sure that you're not getting too drained by other people's energies around you or the situation that has been involved with your cards. Whatever this is, 
It's indicating to try to shield your energy from negative or toxic people and make an effort, Gemini, to think positive thoughts. So be sure to have the bloodstone crystal so that you can meditate and cleanse your energy and work towards detoxing whatever is unbalanced at this time. Now, let me pull back the spread here. One moment. But actually, I think that's pretty good. We'll leave it at that. Now, to take a look here at your numerology for your three base cards, which is number three, which is indicating a wonderful new beginning is coming in for you. And I do believe you will obtain that holy grail that's pictured here in the Knight of Cups card. And it's going to be different for each Gemini as to what that Holy Grail is representing. Something that you feel very passionate about, something that you love, something that you want to obtain, Gemini. So in summary here for this week, Gemini, you have two nights showing up indicating movement, travel, change. And you have the Magician card manifesting what these nights are bringing in. So with the Knight of Wands here as your focus, your anchor card for the week, it's a tremendously strong, confident energy. There's no stopping you with what you want to achieve. And the Knight of Cups in this deck is kind of the key as it's indicating what you're going after, what is pictured here as your Holy Grail. So that could be a relationship. Could be a business you want to start up. Could be moving to a new home. Could be obtaining a new job or a different position. And you have the wonderful energy of the magician card facing both of these two energies making this happen. And with the dark feathers kind of hidden under the white feathers is indicating that you're taking any measures needed, but not dishonestly but almost as a magician will use his sleight of hand to get the results that he desires. That's what this energy is. You using any means necessary to obtain whatever this Holy Grail is for you, Gemini. It's not a bad energy. It's just one that's very persevering and very clever. And your overall energy of the Four of Cups is indicating that you are indeed being very disciplined, keeping your feelings and emotions in check so that you can rationally and logically come up with the strategies needed for this week to obtain what you're going after, your Holy Grail. Now, your Starseed card message, Earth, is reminding you to focus more on your energies in the physical world and to be fully present to what life on earth has to offer you. Your angels and guides are suggesting the bloodstone crystal as whatever you've been working towards here has taken a toll on your physical health as well as your spiritual health. And to meditate with the bloodstone crystal and begin to get back, get things back in balance. So pretty exciting reading for you this week, Gemini, as your two nights here are really incredible energy, bringing about movement and change. And with the Magician card, there's no stopping you as to manifesting what it is that you're going after. This is it. So many blessings coming in for you this week, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe and help support my channel if you haven't already. And for a private reading, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.